today we're going to go to one of the hiking trails by the Arkabutla Dam. And so when you come out of Memphis, you come down I-55, you, you get on 69 heading west, and then you turn left on 301. Then you come down to this stop sign where 301 dead ends into Pratt. You're going to turn left at this point. When you turn left, you'll go to the bottom of the dam and then turn left again and go past the, the campground. Okay, after we turned left off of Pratt Road onto this spillway road, this lower spillway road, which kind of came up to this stop sign, we before we went on our hike we went to this bathroom came up to this stop sign right here right by the bathroom and we came across an armadillo pretty funny pretty oblivious to to the world around them digging in the grass some people say these things carry leprosy or something like that. What you doing there, little girl? What you doing? What you doing? Can you hear me? He or she does not know that I'm here or does not care a whole lot. I'm not going to get too close. I don't want to get bit by this thing so we're having an armadillo day down at the Arkabutla dam area it's kind of cruising through the grass yeah there you go <laughs> finally figured out that somebody was close by Here's the indication of the trail that we're about to go on, which is, uh, there's a parking area kind of a little bit on the knoll up here. We're going to just park there. I had suggested earlier that we go all the way down to the Army Corps of Engineers site, which is down at the end of the hill, but right now we're getting so close to dark that I'm, that's going to add another 10 or 15 minutes to our excursion. So we're probably gonna, just going to park here instead of down there at the Army Corps. Here at the Coldwater River Natural Trail System, and we are going to walk this upper pathway. On the on the map, we are here, and we're going to walk this direction. We're going to go across the road, uh, Pratt Road, Scenic 304. Then we're going to get on this and go this direction, and then we're going to come back here. And we hope we can do it in about an hour, hour and a half. Here's how the trail looks at the trailhead. We're going to go down until it dead ends and then cut left. We're going to go left. Off the trail, we have a persimmon tree. These will be ripe in about a month. It's August, so September, about the time for Halloween. They'll be orange, just like a pumpkin, except they'll be about as big as a golf ball, maybe a little smaller. I'll fly this baby frog hopping around here on the trail. Look at these guys. You can see the clearing down here. That is the dam. And we just passed a Frisbee golf site. So we're kind of in the civilized land of the living. Probably a fourth of the way through this trek right here. Turn right and go straight ahead. That'll take you right across Pratt Road. This is what Trumpet Vine looks like in real life. This one on the tree right here. Notice it has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12 to 14 leaves on it. Okay, when we hit Pratt Road and cross that, we are probably about a third of the way through this little hike. That is a pine tree right there, little baby pine tree. Beautiful. There is a pretty nice little walkway to get you across the street. Lots of uh, pine trees. When they built this trail, I think they put this plastic down here to keep the trail from eroding. Pretty cool. We are about to head to the right, which is west. Is a muscadine or a possum grape. Follow this story up this pine tree. Check this out. This is absolutely unbelievable. We're going 75 feet 
up here to the canopy. All right, looks like woodpeckers have been all up this tree. Must be a great place to get a bug. Uh, looks like Virginia creeper going up there, five leaves. Harry Vine, no friend of mine. Look up that tree. What do you see? Leaves of three, let them be. That's uh, poison ivy. There's a little stream that's not existent right now. We're gonna go back up to that hill and then we're gonna turn right and uh, head down the little trail. That trail is actually, I believe, a continuance of that dike on the lower trail that we've gone on, the one that's built up high. It's made for automobile access. Primeval ferns once again. A place for the Lhasa raptors and other kind of critters. Pretty bracket fungus here on this tree. We're gonna go, we're gonna turn right. This is a gorgeous, either white or a red oak. Look at the beautiful vines going up through this thing. And look how massive it is. Just, this is beautiful Mississippi. Arboreal paradise. We are gonna go down and to the left. There's a crossroads here. The road ahead 200 feet, that's where we're going because we're gonna go back to the north. If you go to the left, that's gonna take you on the five mile version, which we're not wanting to do right now. Back to Pratt Road. And so we're gonna cross over here and continue north and then probably head a little bit east to get back to our starting point. I think we got about 30 more minutes left right now. It's 7.30 uh, Central Standard Time. We'll probably make it back to the car about eight or 8.15 possibly. Some kind of a hump on this tree. I'm not sure what this looks like, but that's peculiar, like a face. This part of the trail is in a lowland area, sometimes kind of wet, but today, no. It does look like a lightning strike or something. I don't know why anybody would want to set this on fire out in the middle of nowhere. House for a forest critter. The trail of hollow trees. This is like a Narnian wonderland. Place for Mr. Tumnus or Mr. Beaver to hang out. You walk around this tree, you could actually see another entrance right over here. Pretty interesting. Here's a cool little gulch right here. You can also see we're about to hit the pine area here, almost to the end. Okay, we're well, seeing this sign and we're about to cross over this road. We could have made this whole thing a lot shorter if we had done that earlier, but we didn't want to. So we're going back down in the woods for a few minutes. Lots of beautiful sumac right in here, gorgeous. Kind of a surreal landscape. See some kids are going to the top of that tree over there. Eventually this will take this whole forest down. Will not be a forest anymore. A tunnel right here. The big challenge for the park rangers in here is that the kudzu wants to come across the road. If it ever comes across the road, this is just about unnavigable. It kind of looks like to me that somebody intentionally made like rows of that beautiful kudzu. Rows and rows of kudzu everywhere. Almost to the end. Almost. Lots of kudzu here. Lots of kudzu, lots of open sky, quiet, Katie Dids in the background. Horse flies trying to get a meal. Here's another frog down here in honor of my son Charles, who is a frog fan. There you go, Carlos. I saw a doe just jump right through here, so I'm going to keep filming for just a second. And she bounded off right down through these bushes here. Oh, that's pretty dense. Pan back this direction, there's the car. So we're back where we started. It's 8.02 on August the 9th, 2015. We are back to this site here. We went roughly south, then roughly west, 
and then north and then east to come back here. We just did part of the trail at the Coldwater River Nature Trail System. And we still have a pretty sunset. Made it back before dark.